last September, and I was on Craigslist looking for stuff to do. I was in between jobs, so anything was a possibility. My name is Dominic Finso, and I'm from Solon, Ohio. I'm 29 years old, and I have been at the Cleveland Clinic uh, GCRC, General Research uh, Center, for almost 84 days now, laying in bed permanently for these 84 days. If we go to Mars, it's one of those points where you can say, I helped to get us there. I did my little part. It is 24 hours a day, seven days a week in this bed. I don't think I'm going to be the same person. I'm going to be a different person, and I'm ready to be a different person. This is becoming a new part of my life. It's basically, I'm an in, in the infancy of something new. Like, I'm going to be reborn once I get out of here. I'm starting, going to start new things. I am Peter Kavanagh, and I am the chairman of biomedical engineering at the Cleveland Clinic. is a long time to have all those freedoms that you expect in your life just taken away. You go to visit Dominic and you ask him how he is and he, he brushes it off and says, well, I'm fine. How are you? And, you know, this is a guy who's been in bed now for, for 70 days. I'm not allowed to lift my feet up and, like, place my, my feet onto the bed, like, with any force because then that's gravity and they don't have gravity out in space, so I'd kind of be cheating the system. So they want me to be really disciplined in that to make sure they get all the data that they can and that this uh, research is valid. There has surprisingly not been a systematic study before the exercises that have been prescribed to astronauts who are on the station today were actually implemented. 1245, I have two transporter people come, they pick me up, I roll off of this bed and onto a gurney that is at the same six degree tilt, and they roll me down into the learner lab. My engineer Sarah and Ricky the research nurse, they put together, uh, they put me into the ZLS, which is the basically a modified hammock. And there's a treadmill mounted on a wall. And I exercise on that treadmill. The whole process of me getting hung up, exercising, and being taken down takes about two hours. From the first minute that Dominic begins to move towards vertical, we don't do it right away. We, through the, the course of the morning on his last day, we'll progressively sit him up. A rehabilitation specialist is there in the room. He works with him from the first exercise to get him stepping again and walking again. So what we'll do, we'll have you nice and easy, bring your legs around over to the side of the bed. And it comes with practice. He will almost certainly feel faint as we start to put him upright. Drum roll, We're going to go ahead and have you stand up here. All right. Okay, so. uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. Spongy. Spongy, but no tingling. Um, the key here is pace. So okay. Slow pace is best. Okay. Go up here a little bit. To the left? Yep. And every time you make a turn or you turn your head, uh, 
Yes. Enjoy.